Thomas Boivat. It's a pleasure to be here at your exhibition at Fondation Art in Brussels. And it's thanks to your work, your amazing prints, beautifully framed, hung in this fantastic space. Thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's really, I mean, a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here and to, to be exhibited by the Fondation. Belleville is, um, it used to be uh, um, uh, a city in the outskirts, a small a village and then a city in the outskirts of Paris and now it has been absor absorbed by, uh, so it's just the name of an underground station. Uh, and it's, and it's also um, a very lively and vivid neighborhood in the northeast of Paris with a peculiar uh, atmosphere because it's less Osmanian and built like the, the very downtown Paris that you see. It's, it's, uh, you have the Colline de Belleville and the Plateau de Belleville, so the underground station is really at the bottom of the hill. And so there's more, um, I'd say, a bit more sky, more space, parks. Life there has a different rhythm. So I, when I decided to become a photographer, I thought that's what I want to do. But I, I mean, walking around with a camera is really something perfect because you can pretend that you're doing something and mostly you just walk around and that's what I love, loved about it and if, when you come, come back home you perhaps have something to show. Um, so I, I really took a, the habit of slowly doing the same uh, walk every day uh, and I quickly decided that I wanted to make portraits like that. That was when I I realized that the goal for me, like the, the achievement would be to have this, this kind of quality of relationship with people that are like, you know, people that I don't know anything about. And then you can really just ask for a picture and get a sense of intimacy within the photograph. So Belleville is just like the result of this habit and this way of trying to live in a space. In, in a space. I think my, my way of working is more, I rarely decide. Um, I mostly, what I, what I try to find is a daily habit that I can live with for a long time. And then um, the more time I spend doing a certain thing, the more it, it takes a sh shape. And there's, there's a point where I can say, okay, that's what I want to do. But, it, but it's never, um, the beginning of the of the work, like the beginning of the work, is really uh, where is it that I can spend a lot of time just looking at things or asking pe people for a photograph, more than you know a, a goal that I would set up first straight. Um, well, there's the work that is that you have on the walls and the work that is on in the book. <clears throat> They're very close although there are some variations. Um, and it's mostly a mix between, you know, still lifes, few landscapes and portraits. Um, and what, I, and I think what, what, um, what you, like the journey that you can um, experience through the book, All the Walls, is really my, my way of walking through and trying to look with the same quality of attention to little details and, and people. Um, and so it's, it's not a portrait, it's not a, a book that has a certain, that pretends to be saying something about something. It's more a lived experience in a certain place. Mm -hmm. uh, and in that sense, it's not a book about Belleville. It's a work in Belleville that doesn't, it, but it's but there is a, a documentary aspect of it, but it's but it's not the again that's not the the goal or I'm not trying to have you know express a belief or an opinion or even 
to be um, descriptive in a clinical way. I believe that the greatest works of art as are really trying to shift your perception of the world through a way to relate to the world. Uh, if you're, if, if what you're doing, if, if you say it's my world, um, it's less, uh, if it's a self-contained object, as you say, um, it, in my, I think it's less moving. What I've, what I've been very, um, Some, some work of art, either novel or photography, that I've met like earlier in my, when I discovered photography, I thought, oh, you can experience space or you can relate to people that way. It was never, oh, this is the world of the photographer, much more, oh, this is how the photographer approaches the world. And that's, that's um, really like what I think is the most beautiful and also, there's also an ethical aspect of it because it's a lot of portraits. So I would never say that someone is part of my world. Like, this is a, an image of someone is just an image. But even within that context, um, the image of someone um, is not my world. Um, I don't pretend to be necessarily kind of or loving, but, but accepting. That's, that's really, um, that's really, that, I like that's, that's more than enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that moment, like who I am as a person, what I think as a person, what um, my emotion as a person is a thing. And when I photograph, at the moment when I photograph, I, I just try to welcome something or someone in a frame, and that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. Say that. Perhaps the strongest influence that um, that you can perceive um, is more what's uh, on the other room is Place de la République. Like Place de la République is really, you know, view camera portraits of people in an open space, and they're like, and they're G. Joy Ross is one of the absolute masters. Um, but the North Amer I, I, I would say that there's a strong Anglo-Saxon North American influence. Um, and uh, and this, this tradition is well represented in, in the collections of the foundation. I don't really know if Street Colette has some work by Mark Stanmet, and that's not, I don't think so. And he was really the first one uh, whose work I came across, and I was like, oh, you can do that. But that, that doesn't mean it's the most important for me, but it was really the, the starting point, like, especially in Great, Greater Atlanta, the South Trilogy. That, I, I saw a few photographs and I was like, I was really deeply moved that you can, that someone can do that, run into a stranger and has this psychological quality of, of uh, in a portrait. Usually people who portrait, they kind of, they're stiff, they have clothes that you see that they are being photographed and with him it's, everything's transparent, there's a flow. So it's, yeah, mostly this most, um, mostly North American Anglo-Saxon tradition uh, that, I, that I influenced me in many ways. Nicholas Nixon is one. Um, I don't know if Astrid has works by Chris Killip, but that's also a, someone I would put there. Um, and what, and what, the foundation I think represent most in Astrid's choice is a very um, works of artists who, who indeed um, try to have a, a deep and prolonged relationship with the world or the subject. At first I experienced photography through books 
and I, f and I only thought about books. Um, but I always um, first uh, developed and then print, printed, partly for economical reasons. I couldn't afford to have all of my roles processed by someone else or print, printed. Re-experience your image over and over again, trying to um, to bring the most out of it. Um, it changes your relationship to contra contrast and details, and and shifts your attention to the quality of light in a way that the immediate response of uh, a digital uh, tool, I think, would hardly give. Um, so. It's really a school of, in Ecole du Regard, on dirait en français, a school of, of looking, I think. In, in that, it's essential. But then afterwards comes really the, the, the pleasure of experiencing a good print, um, which is, again, a way to serve uh, the, the, the scene or the image of the person. Uh, the, the, the quality of craft that you put in trying to take the picture, you you you, you try to bring it all the way to the, up to to what's on the wall. Like through, there's a continuity of of um, of care, and that's that's really amazing. So it's a what's on the wall. It's 24 portraits of mostly young people in this big square, pretty central in Paris that is called Place de la République. So the name in itself says something because it, um, it immediately evocates the idea of a society, of French society as a whole. Uh, something again that I would that I really appreciate in Judith Joyos's oeuvre is that she tries to bring everyone. Uh, and so that was a very good place for that by the name and by the reality of like that, that it's, a, it's a place where you can find a lot of different people gathering and coming and passing by. Uh, but what you see now is not how I started. I started by taking photographs in a way that is very close to, to what Belleville looks like. And actually, it's, it's, a, it's very close. Like Place de la République is you know, 500 meters away from Belleville. Um, but more and so I started in 2018 and more and more I tried to I focused on individuals uh, partly because it was it's easy to focus on individuals with a medium format with a rather large um, wide lens in, in, in an empty space you have one person and the space around and the space is empty so it's still one person if you try to do that place de la république there's always someone scratching head or you know doing something weird in the background so you have to um, cut that out away so i switched to view cameras and a longer lens to really remove all of these things that i couldn't that would ruin the frame basically uh, and, and that's what gave the, the look of it, uh, it's in a, the way I adapt to a different situation. But it's, but it also, but then it ended up being a very, uh, as wide as can portrait of the young French people gathering there, uh, as, well, as well as I could, and actually they're all, not all French at all. It's a, it's a big metropolitan city, so people come from everywhere. Um, and, 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 and I'm not done yet. I want to have 40 to 50, I, I mean, I have hundreds of portraits, but I want to have 40 or 50 portraits that you can really want to look at again, twice or more, and remember. And that takes a lot, a lot of time and effort. So I think I have a short, at least a year ahead, a small year ahead. But it's always, I never do one thing. 
uh, uh, there's you know in winter people are in their cold they're cold they don't want to stop so I do something else and uh, depending on the day if I'm too tired to take a portrait I will just have my square camera and take still lives because it's so much energy to say to someone, do you mind if I take your photograph? That, that enough eats you so much. So there are days when I can't. So, and um, so you have Place de la République is an ongoing project, but others ongoing projects are ongoing at the same, at the same time. Thank you. Well, you're welcome.